We can see land. <laughs> Can't believe it. Great job, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers to the beaver. A tiny line. Yeah. You're just riding it. A bit of a life change, I reckon, that day. <laughs> <laughs> So we are anchored here in uh, Bridgetown in Barbados. The boys have both flown back home, so it's just the two of us left on the boat now. We are pretty sad this morning because our dinghy is gone. We woke up and it was no longer at the back, so we are pretty devastated. But the good news are that we are going to go and try to find some surf today. There is apparently a big swell coming in on the west side of the island, so we are going to catch the bus or well, we're going to swim first and head over and have a look. So we've been struggling a little bit, we've had to move the boat, anchor it kind of really really close to the beach. This was like our first island. We never really used the dinghy before but now we don't have one we realise how important they actually are when you're here. We've been swimming to the beach to try and get to shore with all our stuff but we've been getting heaps of exercise. Heaps of exercise. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing. One of our boat neighbours who's got the same boat as us, an Oceanus 40, he's actually lent us this little uh, pump up kayak. Pump up kayak. So we've borrowed that just so we can paddle in and top up our jerry cans with water and make it a bit easier for us. Yeah, it's a really lovely Belgian family. Ready? Yeah. We're gonna leave the pump up kayak because we don't want to leave it on the beach. So we're gonna swim into shore. Yeah.
What do you got there? I am making something very amazing. I think I'm just improvising. I'm gonna have like stuffed bread with fresh mozzarella, some pesto, and garlic, and I'm gonna wrap it all up. And then like, yeah, these already have the cheese and pesto in it. And I'm gonna braid them all together like one big delicious bread. It's getting smaller and smaller to <laughs> Well, it's not about the braiding, it's about what's in it. I just want it longer. There. Dunsky. Put some more cheese on top. Have we got the oven on? Yeah. This is just fresh mozzarella. It's like a cooking show now. Yeah, I know. I love cooking shows. Nicole's offshore cooking adventures. Mm -hmm. oh, I'll put the pesto on top and now it looks ugly. <laughs> It'll be right. see the braid. Ooh la la. You look very happy with it. It looks yum. Hopefully it's delicious. And some pasta salad to go with. I don't even know how to attack this. Yummy? Mm -hmm. Yummy. So we're just waiting for our neighbour Bert to come pick us up. We are going to catch the bus over to the east coast and the boys are going to have a kite. Or see if there's any wind so they can have a kite. Later on we are going to go and check out some of the dive spots. We've heard there's some uh, wrecks around here. That sounds pretty cool.
How do you feel about having to leave Barbados uh, first little island, I guess? Um, we've been here for quite some time now, so I think it's going to be good to move on. What's the best thing that you've felt for Barbados? I would say the water is really, really nice and turquoise and clear. The, the beaches have just been beautiful. Any drawbacks? Or the prices, especially on food, it's quite expensive. Um, so I'd say for others, if they stop by Barbados after a crossing, to have enough parishioning on board. We were lucky we didn't really have to buy anything but no, fresh. We just bought a few things, so we, it wasn't that bad. What's been the best part about Barbados? We had a good swell come through. Yeah, we had really good waves. It's pretty close, easy to get to. That's been your favourite part? Yeah. Worst part? Having the dinghy stolen was probably the worst part. And yeah. as you can see, we're pretty, oh, not too far. Maybe three, four hundred metres from the beach. So swimming in to shore with the waterproof bag was hard work. We were lucky that one of our neighbours just here, they lent us this pump up kayak. So that was awesome. We could just pump that up and, and paddle into the harbour, which is just over here. It's still like a 15 minute paddle and all our stuff with rubbish and the rain. It was hard work. No. I miss the dinghy. No. Oh, we're going to appreciate it so much when we get a new one. This is Bert here, who was <laughs> kind enough to lend us the kayak. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Yo. thanks for that. <laughs> See you, mate. See you. Bye. So we're heading to Martinique today. Woo.